Hey guys, this is gonna be my October favorites video and I have a lot of products to go through since this is my first uh, monthly favorites video. So the first thing that my first favorite is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer and it says to use alone under makeup or over makeup. I use this under my makeup and it's really good because before like my T-zone gets really oily so this helps me to stay less oily for a longer period of time it's white and it kind of has like a thick it's kind of thick and it might leave a white cast similar to the milk of magnesia but I prefer this to the milk of magnesia for everyday use so this is what I use to prime and it stays longer and my second favorite is this uh, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45 and I love this to use under my eyes because it makes under my eyes really smooth and it doesn't show all those like lines, fine lines under my eyes because um, I have the Studio Finish Concealer in NC45 as well and I don't think I like this for under my eyes, I, I really love this one. So this is my favorite concealer for under my eyes and for full coverage as well. And the next thing, the next concealer is the 3D, um, Ruby Kisses um, 3D Face Creator. And I have this in level 11. And I use this to do my eyebrows and sometimes around my lips. But I use this to do my eyebrows. And yeah, it matches my skin well. This one is really creamy and it's really easy to work with so that's why i like using this for my eyebrows now the next thing that i'm going to speak about is this um mac prep and prime um highlighting pen and i have mine in peach luster and it just has a brush and you spin the bottom for it to wind up. Now this one has a peach tone, so I use this under my eyes, under on my lips, just as a color corrector to correct the darkness around my lips and under my eyes. And this works really well. So yeah, I really would recommend this. It's a bit pricey, but it's really creamy. It's not too thick, and it does brighten under your eyes while covering the dark spots like for me that have dark circles under my eyes and um pigmentation around my lips this maybelline new york masterpiece precise um eyeliner it's in black and now it's like those marker um eyeliners and i have it on right now it's just really really black and it's really nice because the tip of it is really narrow so it helps to make the line more precise and neat and it's also good to do a wing line because it's that the tip of it is really long and my next favorite is this um mascara and it's by maybelline it's the falsies big eyes now this is a double-sided mascara so it has this one for under the eyes and this side for the top lashes now i only use the top lashes side but this is really it's really a nice mascara it makes my eyes my eyelashes are really short and they're just short and invisible kind of so this really makes this really gives volume and length and sometimes i just wear this without any eyeliner or anything and it's not expensive at all it's like less than ten dollars for my eyelashes now these false eyelashes they're really really natural looking and um yeah they're not too long because normally when i got it i was really surprised because normally they say natural and the lashes are really really long so this one wasn't long and it was one dollar something for five pairs and it was also free shipping on aliexpress so i would really recommend this if you want natural lashes that can be worn 
every day i don't have them on right now i have on like a more dramatic lashes but these are really nice and they're easy to be applied to the eyes as well next i'm moving on to contouring and blush um this sleek um face form it comes in this box it's a sleek face form contouring and blush palette no this one doesn't really have any blush but it has this color that i use to contour and this goldish color um i use it has a, as a highlight on my brow bro, bro bone or also on the highest part of my cheeks um this bro they this one is completely matte it has no shimmer or anything these two however they're slightly shimmery but not they don't have thick glitter or anything it's just a slight shimmer so that it will glow um the next thing is the sleek um blush by three blush palette and this one is in pink spirit so the three blushes are this is pink parfait um this is pink ice and this is pink teeny so right now i have pink parfait on and i don't know if you can see it through the camera but yeah these three and they're really really pigmented really pigmented so you have to use a little like this one is probably the least pigmented one and i love this one it is not too bright it's just right for my skin moving on to face powders this mac mineralize foundation in loose um i have this color is in dark no i really love this because i feel like and this is how it is i feel like it i feel like it um it doesn't make my face get oily too quick because i have the mineralized skin finish in the compact version and in the compact i'm a medium dark and this one i feel like i love it i love how it looks but i feel like i get and i feel like i get really oily faster when i use this so i love this powder and i recently started using this one like less than a month now but i've had this one for like months or a year like i have this one so long and next moving on to lips um these are the sephora cream lip creams and i have the red one on now it's always red and it's they're matte and they also stay on for hours and they do not transfer so this is in beige number two and this is a nude color and this is always red number one and it's just a blue on its own red color the last beauty item that i have is this kat von d lock and load um makeup setting mist no i love this setting mist because i always used to use the elf one and then i realized it wasn't really doing anything for me because my makeup yeah it just would disappear as well it would just get oily and everything so this really helps to make my makeup last all day and it also helps to keep the makeup on and you don't get oily and it's not too dewy either so like yeah your makeup will last it's supposed to last from to set makeup close eyes and hold the lock and load makeup setting mist 10 to 12 inches from your face spray once and wait until dry so this is supposed to last i think they said 12 12 hours um i think it's supposed to last 12 hours 12 to 16 hours so um yeah i really love this and i would recommend this um i got this at sephora so if you're looking for a good makeup setting spray because i feel like if you have foundation no matter like how your makeup is i feel like you need a setting spray for it to last because you don't want to get super oily and your makeup to be like running and you know smearing off so the next item that i have that is not like a face beauty product 
is this um, skin to make skin therapy moisturizing hydrant shaving gel now this is a it's for sensitive skin it has aloe and olive butter and also vitamin E so this is really soft and smooth and it kind of it kind of turns into a foam as you use it so it makes shaving really smooth and comfortable like it's not so rough it prevents you from getting like cut with the razor and stuff like that it also moisturizes your skin so your skin won't be too dry the last thing that um i have in my favorites today is this brita um water bottle it's a water filter it's a bottle water filtration system and it has a filter inside um it makes they said it makes tap water taste great and the top is just like this and i feel like i hardly drink water so i feel like this motivates me to drink water because of the the um tip it's really soft and it also has a measuring so it shows you like 16 ounces um eight ounces 400 milliliter and i got this at walmart and it says you're supposed to Replace the filter every 216 servings, 2 months, or 151 liters. So those are my October favorites. Um, I hope that you like this video. And I hope that this video was really helpful and that you will try out some of the products that I mentioned. Um, I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.